very uh, proud and pleased how we started Big East play. Um, layoffs really haven't affected us this year. Um, you know, I, I thought our offensive efficiency was just off the charts and was the key. And then we defended the arc enough where they, you know, couldn't really hurt us too bad. I don't know how I, our defensive energy wasn't great in the first half. Uh, you know, I got I talked about that in the second half and I think, you know, going to zone helped us a little bit because we scored out of that. They missed some shots and we ran and we got that cushion at least that was hard for them to, you know, really cut it to one possession. Um, I thought our energy was better in the second half. What the story was offensive efficiency, and we shot the ball so well, which you, you, you'll take a win any way you can get it. Now, we're going to have to be better defensively on Monday to win on the road. Talk a little bit about Scott and the way he's shooting the ball better. He's talked a little bit about working over the summer. Yeah, you know, that's the thing he and I talked about last spring is just, I just want you to get shots up. I don't even care about you playing pickup. I don't want him tearing up a knee. You know, he doesn't need reps playing the game. He's played the game a lot, and he's not going to lose his fundamentals. Um, just get shots up. And I think it's really given him a lot of confidence. And I think his teammates have really told him, shoot that thing. Great to see. That's a weapon um, that that is a new kind of a weapon for us that we really going to need to count on through the rest of the Big East. When you talk about offensive efficiency, it's maybe a statement game for Eric as yeah. far as, hey, I'm one of the – Top well, I'm glad you said that because I was going to say, I think I have the best point guard in the Big East. And I've looked around the country. I wouldn't trade this guy for any other point guard in any other program. I mean, the guy is unbelievably efficient and machine-like and run, is flat out running our team and running our locker room. I'm, I'm just so pleased with where he's at. Why is he not thought of? I, that's when, a, when you look at all the national – Great question. Never comes up. Great question. I, I, I wonder about that all the time. You look at some top ten point guards, and I, I just don't – I don't understand that. I, I, you know, I've never been a guy to kind of, you know, I, to, to campaign for that because we're just trying to win. But at some point, are you seeing what this guy's doing and how he's managing a heck of a team? It's just – it's brilliant, brilliant. Coach, how big just to get the first Big East? Coach? Always good to win. Always good to get 1-0 and in the Big East. You know, to get one under your belt in this league and, and to kind of keep our Big East momentum playing here at home uh, was great. I, I tell you what, our crowd was great. We, we didn't have our students, but um, our crowd and the, and the numbers we had in that building, that helped us. And we're going to need them next Saturday because our students aren't back, you know, then either. Coach, you had a nice long break. Now you get into the grind of the Big East, a lot of games coming up. Do you guys feel prepared to handle that? Yeah, well, you know, if you look at our schedule in the preseason, we played a bunch of Saturday Mondays, and then right before Christmas, we played four times in eight days. So, you know, I think this team, a veteran team, likes this, where tomorrow our practice is going to be much more mental than physical, and then can we go out and be ready to do that on Monday? I, I like the rhythm of our schedule now with games coming at us, and then we have some gaps where we can rest some guys. I want to review there being short I mean, was well, we only play seven either I mean, as well. We're, it was seven on – everybody said, oh, they only play seven. I turned to our assistant and said, we play seven too. It's seven on seven. No big deal. <laughs> um, I, that is so overrated. You know, they got seven pretty good players, you know. <laughs> if if uh, they and, – and they got a kid. Now, they're missing Oliver. The kid Oliver is, is – they're missing him. They need him back. Um, but, um, you know – they can, they're going to beat people because they can score that thing and shoot it. They're making double-digit threes quite regularly. And the zone, if you're not great with the ball, we're great with the ball. If you're not great with the ball, you're going to turn it over against that zone matchup thing. And then, and then the big guy inside, you know, who's a better low-post footwork guy in the, in the league right now? I can't think of one where you can catch, spin, score a little bit. So. They're they're gonna they're gonna have some wins and you know uh, heck I think their RPI was 48 right now you know and and uh, you know, but but I uh, you know I'm, I'm you know we, we were really ready to go I I, I thought we would I would have been very disappointed if we weren't ready to go I mean these guys have been chomping at the bit all week. What do you I mean how do you approach the long layoff I mean do you like that I, I don't know how long it's been in the past but is it. 
Just yeah, I think you have to change up your practice schedule. And, and, and with, this, with this layoff, when we came back, we practiced two days here, and then we went to Chicago for the weekend just to get out and practice in a different place. And I just think that it, it, and, and, and we changed the practice routine a little different over there in Chicago. We came back, practiced here Monday, and then Tuesday was game day. We scrimmaged. You know, we played and got up and down because we needed a game. Wednesday was kind of a recovery day. We shot a little bit, we stretched, we kind of rested, and then we had two good tune-up days. So, you know, I think I always let them know the segment so they know, okay, here's these three days, these two days. And, 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 and again, with veteran guys, um, you know, what, what this, this team's great, one of its greatest strengths is their ability to concentrate and focus on stuff. And, um, you know, they knew this was coming, and, and they also have a lot of pride. We talked Thursday night. I put up on the board our Big East blueprint and some of the things we, we do to be so consistent in this league, just to kind of remind them of that. And I think, you know, they've digested it, and many of them have, have done it last year. Given yeah. what your main guys have gone through, how ready do you think they are to, to have that challenge on, on going on the road to, to a, an actual road game right now? I would be very disappointed if we're frazzled, flustered, or play young. I really would, because this group has been through it all, and that's what I'm going to talk to them about tomorrow. You know, like, this is, you know, this is a great challenge for us, and can we do it on the road? I, you know, I, I'll be disappointed if, if we don't play like men Monday. I don't know if you'll say something, but, but they, they still recall the last time you went on the road for the first time, same building. Yep. You were out of it eight minutes in. Yeah, we were babies. We were babies, and that will be brought up. And we may even watch some tape of that tomorrow. <laughs> when did you practice in Chicago when you went? The attack facility where the pre-draft came. We stayed at the Marriott downtown. We, they went to a Bulls game. We took them out. You know, it's just, just to break up the routine here. So it, it, I think it psychologically shortened how much time we were, you know, before the game. What's that Scanlon's first time out in the, in the conference? Very solid. And those are two big jump shots. You know, we, we know him sneaking in like that. And he held his own defensively, and he rebounded for us a little bit, and he was good with the ball. He had a huge impact on this game. I'm very proud of him in his first Big East game. He is a focused guy. He, is, he just loves to play the game, and he wants to be coached. And as I've said, I, we are so much further along than I thought we would be. I thought there would be more maintenance. And um, there hasn't been, and I'm really proud of him. Coach, you guys obviously have a big game Monday, but do you have a prediction for the football game on Monday? Well, we're going to try. We need to get two on Monday, right? Like, let's uh, let. What, who said it was it? Uh, let's play two. We go. Let's win two, right? That's Ernie Banks, right? Uh, so let's win two Monday. I mean, what a great night for Notre Dame fans. Start tailgating with us at six thirty, and then you know turn on the Irish in Miami at eight thirty. We're going to get back. I will not have to get ejected, even though you never know based on officiating, which way it could go. But uh, I do not have to get ejected since they moved the game earlier. We're going to go right back to the hotel and watch Irish football and support them and, and uh, see if they can win that thing, and we'll bust back Tuesday. Thank you. Oh!